This is tutorial number 43, and it covers how to use the drafted fillet pocket feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 42, which is located on the DVD. Now the drafted fillet pocket feature is found either in your toolbar over here, or if you go to insert sketch base feature, your drafted filleted pocket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this feature to all of these parts here and just like the previous tutorial on the pad one the pocket one is going to incorporate a pocket a fillet and a draft all in one step with the one sketch so again this is going to save you time as it takes one sketch and one feature to complete uh, three features all at once so for the first one let's click this face here click sketch Let's zoom in and let's draw a square. And let's dimension the square to 50 by 50. And we'll center it so it's going to be 25 by 25. So once you have that, uh, all those dimensions in, let's go back up and let's click the drafted fillet pocket. So let's click it. And then again, you're given the same menu as the pad definition. So for the depth, let's put it to 50. For the limit, let's click this face here. And again, you're able to toggle the draft and all the fillets on and off. So right now, let's put everything on leave everything at 5 degree and 5 mil and let's click OK. And you can see that we've been able to cut into the block with the pad with a 5 degree uh, draft on it and all of the edges have uh, fillets. Now if you open up the part body under this pocket here of course you're going to see the pocket, the draft and the three fillets that we used. So again, we're able to go in and change some dimensions. So let's double click on the draft and let's change the draft angle. So let's change the draft angle for this one. Let's put it to 12 degrees. Click OK. And now you can see that it's opened up and we have a 12 degree draft on this pocket. Now let's do this on the circle. So let's click the circle here, click sketch, and let's zoom in. Now let's project the outside circle and let's do the inside circle at the center point. Let's make it a diameter of 40 and delete the outside circle now. We'll go back to the workbench and let's use the uh, drafted filleted pocket again. Now you're able to uh, change the depth again. So let's change this depth for this one. Let's make it farther down into it. So let's make it 90. And for the limit, we'll click this face here. Now for the draft angle, let's uh, put the draft angle to 20 degrees. And let's take away all of the fillets. Click OK. And now we've drafted the pocketed cut 20 degrees into our pad. Now let's double click on this draft and change the angle. Let's put it to 10 degrees. Click OK. And now we've changed it to 10 degrees. So now there's no fillets or anything on it. It's just the draft and the pocket. Now let's go to our last one here. Let's click this face here. Click sketch. And let's draw a profile here. So just draw a unique little profile along here. Click tools and make sure that it's closed and it's closed. And let's go back. Let's click the uh, drafted filleted pocket again. This time let's uncheck the angle. And for all the rads, let's put two. And for the depth, let's make it 40. And for the limit, let's click this face here. 
click preview and we're going to get a little preview so we can see what's going on in there and let's change some of these fillets and see how it affects it so let's change this one here back to five click enter and now you can see that all those corners there are bigger at five and again we didn't have a draft so all we have is the pocket and the fillets so let's change some of these fillets so the one around the rim here fillet eight let's double click on it and let's change this to seven and let's see if it'll work so let's click preview and it appears that it's going to work so let's click OK and now we've changed that fillet to seven so again with this uh, tool it's a time saver as it allows you to do the pocket the draft and the fillet all at once from the one sketch so after you do it you're able to also go back and edit either the pocket the draft or any one of the fillets and that concludes our tutorial on how to use the drafted fillet pocket feature within Katia V5.